our idea is in the glass class, which is an all-purpose training facility for training. A video. This is our video that we recorded on how the facility would impact our lives and how sports has impacted our lives through the years of our life. I'll start back too. Presentation fail. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it wouldn't be a presentation without the failure. Yeah. <laughs> so, what can you tell us while we're waiting? Uh, the whole stadium itself was going to be built south of the Maumee River, or north of the Maumee River, on Stillman Road, partially because <coughs> there's a parking lot already next to it, there's a major road there, and there's a huge neighborhood right behind it. So mm -hmm. we're trying to draw in more people based on location and what the program is already built. We have gotten in contact with big businesses such as AWP and uh, Species Fieldhouse, as well as Parkview Medical Facility. We are trying to bring them in and try to get them coaxed into the idea of our facility mm -hmm. and try to hopefully get money to build the stadium itself. So this, I, I missed the part about the, the stadium is a former stadium for... No, we want to build it. Oh, you're going to build it outright. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ken, 
this is what our design was. We had a fairly basic building at start. We have, in the top right hand corner, we'll have basketball courts that convert into volleyball courts. And in the main center, we'll have a lobby with a check-in office and offices for the trainers and coaches there. Farther down the hallway to the left, we have a Parkview Center for rehabilitation if players get injured or need rehab. Farther along the hallway, past the meeting area, you'll have a regular weight room with all the equipment. And then you walk down the hallways again, and you're going to go out into the football area. And there's a 40 track, there's verticals, there's already equipment set up, and you have about a 60 yard football. This location, like I said, Stellhorn Road is right there. We had a decent sized parking lot, and we rounded out that the stadium would be big enough to fit in there. Where is, what's Cross Street there? Stellhorn and what? Stellhorn and, what does that say, Chad? Maple Cross? What does that say? Yeah. What's next to it? What's by yeah, it? Yeah, what's around it? The uh, Maumee River is right across the road. And then there's Indiana Tech, there's the river. There's still board, and then there's our location. So it's a little bit, maybe a block or two away from Ivy or Indiana Tech. Indiana Tech or Ivy? Indiana Tech. Don't Indiana Tech. Stellhorn Road. Downtown. Yes, at Indiana Tech. Is it down? Is this going to be downtown? No, it says Indiana Tech. When I looked it up, it said Indiana Tech. So it might have been Ivy Tech, but, Indiana Tech. Yeah, maybe. I'll bet you it's Ivy Tech. Yeah, that's not, yeah, yeah. It's just not wrong. Okay, is it over by... It's right behind the innovation is? center. Yeah. That's where you're that at. area. Okay, so they're talking about the opposite side of where Concordia is, I'm assuming. Uh, we showed you guys the commercial at the beginning, uh, and you guys are the shirts. So the brochure is basically explained partially a picture of what the building would look like, what you would see in there, things that you could sign up for, things that you could do, memberships that you could have types of memberships, and then just overall activities that you may be able to do there, how much it costs, what are the requirements, things like that. And you are looking to turn a profit to a for-profit yes. organization, right? Okay. Allies. We contact the AWP. And Spiesfield House, and they have, they have a great route for the business. The competitors are Fort Wayne Fitness, Planet Fitness, and other small com communities, gym, and workout. Mm -hmm. <coughs> the benefits of Fort Wayne, we're drawing in athletes all over the Midwest. Our plan is to bring them in and hopefully get them known all across the country. We have a few guys here that I know that uh, our program that we're enrolled in, AWP, They'll turn guys like Keon Powers, Dion Powers, Kai Black, and Austin Mack into guys that are known throughout the country. We're trying to bring people in again, but we're trying to do it so that they can be known worldwide. Because the more or the more popularity you'll have, the more your name will go around, the more people will know about you. So the more the people that know about you, the more opportunities you'll have. So we want to bring people in all over the Midwest and get them known nationally, globally, throughout the world. 